We learned that the keyboard is an input device. Now we will learn how to use the keyboard. Every key has a specific function or feature. Let's explore some of the keys. The escape key function is to get you out of problems. If you find yourself in an unfamiliar menu or dialog box when using Windows, pressing the ESC key in the top left hand corner of the keyboard backs you out. The enter key lets you add a line to your text and places the insertion point in it. You can also use the enter key to complete a command if you are selecting from a menu or dialog box. The enter key can also be used to give the OK to Windows so it will accept the information you have entered in a dialog box or edit box. On the right hand side of the keyboard you will find a numeric keypad. This is the area with keys that has numbers. By pressing the number lock key the keypad will be activated. Press it again if you want to use the directional arrows and other cursor movement keys located in the numeric keypad. There are two sets of arrow keys on the keyboard. One is found on the numeric keypad and the other is found to the left of the numeric keypad. By pressing the arrow keys, the insertion point moves in the appropriate direction. Notice on the bottom row of the keyboard that there are two CTRL keys. These are control keys. By pressing the CTRL key in combination with other keys, you can take lots of shortcuts. For example, pressing the CTRL key and the S key saves the file you are working on. Also notice that there are two shift keys located on the keyboard. The shift key, like its predecessor on the old typewriter, changes lowercase to uppercase letters. This key can be used in combination with the CTRL key to create combinations to perform specific functions. The shift key is also used to type the symbols on the top row of your keyboard. On the left hand side of the keyboard, you can find a key called caps lock. When pressing the caps lock key, you can type in all uppercase letters without having to hold the shift key. Also on the left hand side of the keyboard is the tab key. When you are writing text, pressing this key moves the insertion point to the next field. In the middle of the keyboard is the backspace key. Sometimes it has just an arrow, but on some keyboards the key also says backspace. This key deletes text to the left when pressed. Located to the right of the backspace key and above the arrow keys is the delete key. The delete key deletes text to the right when pressed.